All right, so we'll do one more problem, then we'll take our homework quiz, and we'll try to get this company. All right, so now, um, if you guys look at this, we have our paragraph, right? There's a logarithm. We know it crosses at 1 comma 0. Our domain is 0 to infinity, and our vertical asymptote is x equals 0. It should be in your outline. It should be like memorized as much as possible so you just absolutely remember it and know exactly what it looks like, and it is. Um, now, it's asking us to find the domain range of this problem, and we also need to find the x-intercept. So we're going to go through all, all three points of those. First thing, what I notice is, though, I have an x minus 3. Since it's inside of the function, right, I have it inside of my function, that's going to tell me I'm going to be shifting left or right. And shifting left or right is going to alter my domain. So here's a way that we like to kind of represent this. If I say my domain, I say it's 0 to infinity, right? That means my x values are greater than 0. Correct? So what you're going to do is whatever your x is, see that's like x is greater than 0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take whatever's inside of my function, and I'm just going to make that greater than 0. So I'll say my domain is x minus 3 greater than 0. All right? And then when I solve for x, I get x is greater than 3. So that is my domain. So my domain will really be from... 3 to infinity. Because it says all x values that are greater than 3. So the domain is from 3 to infinity. Yes? Can so still 3 be considered part of the domain? Doesn't, um, doesn't have to be 4 and up? Well, let me, let me go over the asymptote, and I'll explain as well. Um, and remember, since, this, since we're not dealing, a couple things, how this is written. Remember when you have a parenthesis, or when a bracket, or a parenthesis, it's not including your point zero, right? So zero is not included. Um, and also, this is greater than, not greater than equal to, so we're not going to include it. But let me show you why we're not including it. What was the asymptote of this? Do you remember? Zero. Zero, right? X equals zero. So you could also say, if I say the vertical asymptote, we said X equals zero. Well, now I need to have not X equals zero, but let's take what's inside of there, which would be X minus three equals zero. So now my new asymptote, vertical asymptote, is x equals 3. All right? And just this, guys, it's really, um, oh, wait, hold on a second. Um, yeah, no, it's fine. I'm right. Um, so therefore, you have x is equal to 3. Yes. So really, the only time your domain and asymptote changes is if you're at x minus or plus whatever is in parentheses. Yeah, because this okay. number shifts to your left or right. So you just do what's in the parentheses? Yes, so then, and then you solve for x. So now my asymptote is x equals 3. So if you looked at this, if I was going to graph my, if I was going to graph this, I'd go to 1, 2, 3, and i do this little dot, 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 right? Okay, so that means that's not part. So my domain is from this value on, right? Yes? Um, so like if your thing in parentheses is like x minus 5, would your domain be 5 to Yes. Um, and yes. So we all good with this. Even if it's positive number, you still do that? No, if it was like x plus, well, think about it. If this was x plus 3, what would you do? You'd have to subtract 3, right? Yeah. So it'd be the other way around, right? So you still do that, right? Yeah, but you st you're still, this is just, yeah, you're still going to be doing that. Okay. Think about it this way, guys. What does this tell you to do? Your original graph crossed at 1, comma 0, right? So if I say to shift three units, that's three units to the right, right? When we just said, hey, x minus three, that tells you to shift three units to the right. So you guys just went one, two, look at one, two, three. I'm not, I don't even have to do any algebra work, and I know my x-intercepts right here at four. I don't even have to do any algebra. But we're going to go through how to do the algebra so you guys know how to do it when you get to a more complicated problem. So when we want to find that x-intercept, we know that y equals 0. So again, I do 0 equals log base 4 of x minus 3. Now remember, since it's in parentheses, we can treat it as a term together. Okay? We don't separate it. It's, a, it's together. So I write this as exponential form. Right? Because remember, if we have a logarithmic form, we don't know how to solve this. The only thing we know how to do is transfer it to exponential form. 4 raised to the 0 power is 1 equals x minus 3, add 3, 
x equals 4, which I already knew was 4. And then to graph it, you just make it look like your parent function. Since there's no shift up or down or no reflections, it looks like that. And then again, it approaches your asymptote. So yes, you're correct. 3 is not a part of your graph. Okay, but because it's going to approach 3. Yes? I have another question. Yep. Can you have log base 4 parentheses x minus 3 and then plus any number? I'm sorry, say that again. I'll be able to talk to you so I couldn't hear you. But, uh, you hold on, I guess. Shh. Hold on, you can ask your question in just a second. Go ahead. Just like the one you wrote, and then, but adding, let's say, plus 5. So log base 4 x minus 3 parentheses plus any other number. Right. Can you do that? So you're, all you're saying is if I just had like an extra... Yeah, it's an extra number. Yeah. Like with the original problem. Yeah, with the original problem. Like okay. plus five. Um, yeah, if I did like a plus three over here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys actually in a different um, uh, video what to do with that one. Yes, I'll just make a different video on that. If, um, if it shifts into like to the left, and there's going to be an X and Y or something, you want to find the color. Um, I mean, it's going to depend on the problem where I'm asking. Just for these problems, though, you just asked you to find the x. So it all depends. For your x-intercept, yes. Y equals 0 for your x-intercept. 